이번에는 나라박 소식입니다. 최근 미국에서는 여러 가지 상황들을 통해서 미국 기독교의 위기를 감지하고 있습니다. 하지만 이러한 기회를 통해서 길을 잃은 것 같은 미국을 다시 세우기 위해 또 다른 영적 대각성이 올 것이라고 예견하는 사람도 있는데요. 하나님께서 3차 대각성 운동을 일으키시길 원하신다고 믿고 있는 미국 기독교인들의 이야기 지금부터 전해드립니다. Christians from all over America are talking about and writing about God wanting to bring a third great awakening to the land. But many say it can't happen till serious Christians one by one get desperate, get praying, and get their own hearts revived first. Charisma Senior Editor Jennifer LeClaire. And will we use our faith? Will we pray? What will we do? I believe God is watching, and I think the decisions that we are making in this period are just vital. This isn't something Jennifer LeClaire just writes about. You can find her in this building most days, in the prayer room, deep in prayer herself. We know that nothing is too hard for God. We know that He's waiting on His people who are called by His name to humble themselves and repent, turn from their wicked ways. Historian and pastor Eddie Hyatt. God's people in America needs to fall on their knees, fall on their face, and cry out to God. Popular preacher Dutch Sheets travels to all 50 states and finds these needed, desperate believers everywhere he goes. You have to be blind not to know that America is in real trouble, but they are, they are going after this thing in prayer. And that's where it always starts. And when you want to see a nation transformed, it, it does. It starts with us. So we ask the Lord, show us your glory, show us your power. We need an invasion from heaven where God comes down and heaven invades earth. I'm not asking based on our merits. I'm asking based on the fact that God loves to save. Hyatt quotes the famed colonial era preacher, Jonathan Edwards. When God purposes to do a thing in the earth, he first sets his people to praying for the very thing that he intends to do. But America before and during its birth was much more aware God is real and active. It went into the Revolutionary War flying a flag that said, appeal to heaven, a phrase popular political philosopher John Locke used. What Locke said was, when, all, when there is no other way, there's nothing you can do, humanly speaking, you still can appeal to heaven. And George Washington grabbed this, put it on a flag. It was a nation where even a doubter in organized religion like Ben Franklin stood up during the deadlock constitutional convention and declared the need to humbly ask God to move. Hyatt describes it in his latest book, The Faith and Vision of Benjamin Franklin. He stands up and exhorts them and calls them to prayer. And uh, he quotes from scripture. If one thing I learned, I've learned is that the, there's a God in heaven that rules over the affairs of men and nations. And if a sparrow can't fall to the ground without him know about it, how can a nation be born without God being a part of it? And I suggest we call upon him. According to those who were present, there was a spirit of reconciliation seemed to come upon the gathering. And they went back together and they hammered out the American Constitution. All three authors believe it's important for Christians to recall and retell such stories. So all realize the God who powerfully moved in earlier awakenings can do it again now. When we testify to what God has done in the past, it not only builds our faith, but I believe it causes him to move on that again. We're putting him in remembrance of what he did. At particular times in this nation's history, when it's faced great crises, God has preserved this nation by visiting us with great spiritual awakening. And you can be a catalyst to keep this great American story going. Begin by looking around and seeing where God would have you. He'll show you if you pray. Putting yourself, inserting yourself into the story gives you ownership of it. It causes you to, to grab hold and, and be determined to do your part to see this awakening come full bore. She read CBN News a prayer featured in her book, The Next Great Move of God. Holy Spirit, come. I want to experience your presence and power like never before. I don't want just a touch or a visitation or a season of revival. I want to live like Jesus said I could live. Open my eyes. So the question is, are you just sitting on the sidelines waiting and hoping God's going to bring about a third great awakening? Are you remembering the core point? Revival begins with you. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from Pompano Beach, Florida.